Hey everyone, it's ACJ, and we're back with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to make this this ground wallpaper. It's fairly easy to make, and recently it's been picking up some uh, views in my blog. I posted this in my blog some time ago now, uh, and recently it's been picking up a lot of hits, and people are downloading it and enjoying the actual poster itself. So I thought, you know, I'll show you how to make it, and it's really easy to make. We'll look through the actual. Uh, image itself. It has one image in below, which is a, which is the uh, grunge and gritty texture. Then it has the gradient overlay. Then it has the uh, pattern or the actual image overlay. Um, in this case, we're using the kind of vertical bars, uh, which is also seen on the blog one as well. But what I've been doing is marking around with uh, other overlays. So as you can see here, they've kind of got the spiral outburst. One, which is fairly easy to make, and we'll show you how to make that as well as the bars. So first off, we want to get started and create a brand new document. So whatever screen size you want, or whatever image size you want, I'm going to be using a fairly large one at 1900 by 1200, and this is up to you, um, like I said. And the resolution 72. Um, working in with digital, digital 72. Print work is 300 dpi. So okay. We have a canvas here. Uh, so now we need to find a grunge texture. And I've got, just opened up Google here. I'll we'll put it up. And I've been searching Google and I searched uh, concrete texture. And you can search grit or grunge texture or whatever you want. And you'll find a whole range of pretty much textures themselves. And if you search under large images, making sure it's larger than your um, file size. This is much larger than the one I just made. So this is, I think, 3000 something pixels. Not too sure, but anyway, make sure it's larger than your actual image so you can scale it down, but not scale it up. By scaling it up, you're losing image quality um, and actually creating pixelation. So by scaling down, we're not doing that. Uh, we're not going to visually see it, sorry. Um, and that's all we need. So by using Google or I'll link this website as well, Texture King. Texture King is amazing. It has all these free textures you can download, and yeah, has all the ones you probably could need. So I'll link both of these up in the description for you as well, so make sure you check them out. And so we're going to copy, the, or copy, you can save it if you want, copy it into it. So we're going to control V. And as you can see, it's fairly large, so we want to scroll out and resize this. So by scrolling out, we can go over here, zoom out here. There's multiple ways you can use keyboard shortcuts as well. So we're going to use a keyboard shortcut, of course, so control minus and control plus zoom in and out. So we on our layer one we want to go up to edit free transform. Now this will create like a bounding box around the image uh, which we can manipulate the actual image itself so we can rotate, we can scale in, we can do a whole, whole range of stuff. So I just want to get rid of that. Um, so what we want to do is holding shift to keep the proportion in perspective. So holding shift, we're going to drag in the one of the corners, preferably with the right bottom right, and we want to put it up to the very edge of the document, making sure not to go over. Simple as that, and hit enter. And we're done. So zoom back in, so control plus. But we now have the branch the basics or the basis of our grunge. We want to apply our gradient over the top of this. So, create a brand new layer, fill it in with black, and we want to, on our new layer, go down to FX, Gradient Overlay. Now we have a, a default gradient, you can use you can use whatever gradient you want, or even color, you can use color, but I prefer to use gradient to kind of give it some variation. I'm going to use a preset gradient that I have downloaded over here. I will link this uh, gradient um, in the description as well, so if, if you want the colors, which I'll also link in the description as well, the colors, but I'll give you the colors now just so you can make it yourself. So if you want, it's the first one is 388235, the second one at 50% is, whoops, is 9BBB50, and the last one at 100% is C A D E nine seven. And like I said, I'll put that I'll put these colours in the description for you. 
and I'll also give you a pack where you can download all the gradients used within this tutorial. Um, and that's pretty much all you need. You just dump them in, load them up, and you're done. So okay, okay. So we want to get some of the kind of grunge texture uh, behind, and we can do this multiple ways. But I've opted to go by just simply dumping down the opacity, we'll dump it down to about 70%, 70 to 80 percent, just so we can kind of get some of the variation and, and grit behind it. And that looks quite good to me. We can probably add more color by using blending options, but that's fine. We're we're all right for now. Um, so we want to create the actual overlays now. So by creating a brand new layer. Fill in the black as well. We want to go to FX blending options, and this is the uh, the general blending options and advanced blending options for the document, and it allows us to uh, scale down certain opacities. So it's just, that's the global opacity. But what we want to mainly do is change the fill opacity. We want to jump this all the way down to zero, just so we can get rid of the black. But we still have a document we, which we can work in. So now that that's gone, we can actually work and still apply gradients. So what I thought we could do first is actually make the spiral on first, because it's fairly easy and it uses a gradient overlay. So by clicking on gradient overlay after you've done the blending options fill opacity, gradient, so gradient overlay, we want to apply a gradient. Now there's a default gradient that does this, so this one over here has these kind of vertical bars, so horizontal bars, sorry. Um, similar to the other ones, but the different orientation. So clicking OK. As you can notice, they're slightly uh, fuzzy around the edges. You can leave these, or you can change it. We'll show you how to change them in a sec. What we want to do is now change the style from linear to angle. And pretty much there you go. We can now click and drag within a document. It's a bit lagging. And we want to move it over to wherever we want it. So I'm just going to put it right part of the actual center. And we're going to fix this blurriness because I don't like it. Um, so there's another way you can do this. Uh, we're going to actually change the actual gradient itself. As you notice, it's got gradients of stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Now if you notice also that the stopping and starting does not happen on top of each other, which it should do, and thus creates this kind of blurry edge. So the way we can do this is we can push the sliders properly right up against it so we can get the full color so it should be crisp so it should always um, the, should write against it so a bit like, like I'm trying to do now it's kind of hard to describe Oops. But it will get rid of all the blurriness moving the blacks up to the white And this is really future gym I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is also going to put this great. I'll put this gradient in the description as well, so you can download it yourself um, instead of having to muck around with this. It's pretty much done some of the edges. I think it's still slightly blurrier in some because they haven't done it properly. But that's pretty much what you have to do to fix it. But like I said, I'll put my own one in the de in the uh, description. That's already done for you, so you don't have to do this at all. So now we're going to create. Uh, so change the blending mode to overlay. So on the actual above the opacity and above the gradient, blend mode, overlay. We want to drop the opacity down to about 30 to 40 percent. Put about 40. And that looks pretty good as is. We want to now apply some text to it. So grabbing our text tool over here in the center of the document. Um, select and we're going to type whatever we want. So I've gone with a grunge font which is Birth of a Hero, the actual uh, the font name. I will link that in the description as well. You can download that from duffont.com and that's pretty much it. I applied a uh, an overlay I'm pretty sure to it so it's slightly darker. So we'll apply a outer glow and we'll put it onto, I think it's color burn put it on black, the color, and then we're going to bump up the size significantly. So about, about 80, 87 around there. And drop the opacity down significantly as well, so about 40%.
And that's pretty much it for the text. And that's pretty much it for the whole poster. And you can muck around and apply your own one uh, overlay. So now we're going to do those, those bars as we had before. And these bars are slightly different. But they're using a, a pattern overlay instead of a gradient overlay. Still re relatively easy to do. So we're going to create a brand new layer. We'll turn off our original other layer the, with a spiral. I'm going to fill this um, new layer, as we did before, black. And then we're going to go into FX, blending options, and then drop the fill opacity down again. This time, we want to do a pattern overlay. First of all, we need to make this. So we're just going to quickly hop back out of it. And we're going to create a brand new document. So brand new. And we want to put the size to 200 pixels by 50 pixels. It doesn't really matter about the height so much. more matters about the width. Now, we'll zoom in, so control plus. We have a document, and it's 200 wide by 550, sorry. And that's small, but we can create a pattern with inside here. So we want to get rid of the background layer first. We can do this by either alt double clicking, or just clicking, or double clicking on the uh, the locked layer itself. And this will create it into a, an unlocked and hideable layer. So as we can see, we have we now have transparency by creating a brand new layer on top of this one, so brand new layer one we want to uh, apply half of it in black and half in transparent so we can split it up by using the roller tool so if you have the roller tool enabled you can drag one in and it'll kind of snap to it if you don't have the roller tool, another easy way is to grab the uh, selection or the marquee tool rectangle tool and change the style from normal to fixed size now put the width on 100 and the height to 200, it doesn't really matter really what, whatever the height. And uh, now if you select within your document, anywhere within your document, it'll create a fixed um, size. And that's exactly half of it because we know half of it's 100. So on a new layer, getting a paint back at all, painting black on one side and leaving the other side transparent. We'll also deselect, we can go up to select, deselect. Now we're going to go to uh, select all, so we're now selecting the entire document, including the transparent. We want to go into Edit, Define Pattern. I'm going to call this V bars for vertical bars. And that's our pattern done, pretty much. So we're going to go back to our, our document. Back on that layer that we just created, and we want to go down to FX, uh, Pattern Overlay. And now we want to uh, from the pattern overlays, that we can drop down this um, folder, and the last gradient, the last pattern should be the one we just made. I've got some other ones here that I've previously made before, mucking around with. So, V bars, as you can see down here, is the last one, and as you as you can see, it creates these vertical bars, and they're very crisp, and it's all sweet. Uh, so now we want to drop the opacity down as well as putting on the blending mode as overlay like we did before. So again overlay and the opacity down to about forty percent. And that's pretty much it for the whole entire thing. Um and that really we can now change some of the gradients if you want. So on our, our original gradient file which is the one that makes it um green, we can muck around, double click on the gradient thing, go back to the gradient option, and we can select some gradients to muck around with. And by just I have these already in my document, what I'll do is I'll make a pack for you like I said before, and these will be included in the pack that you can download. And these gradients, really anything works. They're all pretty they're all pretty, pretty pretty good actually. And by mucking around you can get some better than others. And that's pretty much it. Really just kinda of experiment with what you've done kind of go without outside the tutorial and actually add your own effects to it. So add different gradients, add different overlays, add different shapes. Do pretty much what you want in in terms of uh freedom. It really gives it that, that extra extra edge. And that's pretty much it for now. Um that's the crux of it. So like I said I'll put everything in the description. I'll dump everything in there for you so you don't have to do too much yourself. Uh enjoy what I've done for you and that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any other tutorials you'd like me to do please comment so I'm, I'm more than willing to do more tutorials for you guys just tell me what ones you want done give me give some examples, PM me with some links maybe even if you want 
and I'm more than happy to help you out. Um, so keep, if you want, subscribe. I've got some more tutorials coming soon as well, and I've also got some animations I've been working on for a while. Check those out. They'll be released in a couple of days. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys next time, and that's it for now. Bye.